All right, there's a new game out that's been something. Well, folks is probably not aware that Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the most anticipated games for PC, is finally out now. But I've dubbed it the troubleshooting simulator because of the amount of people, myself included, that can't really get it running too good. But I did get it running good, at least on one of my computers. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna kinda show you some of the basic troubleshooting methods I use to get my system running. Maybe. So I thought that I was gonna be bringing you guys a video of how to get Red Dead Redemption 2 working on your computer given all of the issues that exist. Unfortunately, it didn't quite go as planned, but there's still something to be learned from this. So anyway, good, wish me luck. The new PureBase 500 from Be Quiet brings enthusiasts more of what they want at a price that they can afford. Two pre-installed PureWings 2 140mm fans ensure proper case ventilation, while insulation mats ensure quiet operation for the optimal balance of noise to performance. The spacious open layout design means there's plenty of room for airflow, but also plenty of room for custom water cooling loops with radiators up to 360mm in size. To see everything that the new PureBase 500 has to offer from Be Quiet, click the link in the description below. So you may or may not have seen my tweets on Twitter where I was just like, Rockstar, what the frig is going on? You promised a smooth launch. And to the point where even board partners started reaching out to me, giving me some tips and stuff on what they have found has gotten there. So you know how, you know how sad a state of affairs have to be when the board partners are having to do a crap ton of internal testing themselves just so they can deal with the troubleshooting and emails they're inevitably gonna get from people thinking their components are the problem. Well, anyway, um, I've got two different systems here. My test bench, which consists of an 8700K, 16 gigs of DDR4, a 2080 Ti, whatever GPU we end up sticking on there, right? With a Maximus motherboard. But this, if you recall, is our budget build. This is probably what more people are trying to play on, a system indicative of this. This is an AMD 2700X, I think, or something like that. 16 gigabytes of DDR4. We're on a very basic um, micro ATX um, AM4 motherboard, and then we've got our 5700 non-XT in there. The reason why I think that this is gonna be more realistic in terms of what people are dealing with is because the most common reports that we're seeing of Rockstar launcher not working or just crashing tends to be on AMD systems. But all the problems I encountered yesterday, which took the entire day for me to finally get through the first hour of the game without blue screen crashes, system lockups, just kicks to desktop, all sorts of crap, we're taking place on Skunkworks, my X299-based Intel system. So that's why we've got two systems here we're gonna test with. I've got fresh installs on both. Neither of these have been updated or even turned on. So the game is installed, not first launch. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but what I'm gonna do regardless is I'm gonna show you some of the things that, we, that I was able to do anyway to finally get the game working. Now in terms of our install, it was purchased through the Epic uh, game launcher. However, the game is still a Rockstar title that uses the Rockstar launcher. So when you launch Epic and then, or, or Steam even, when it's, I don't think it's out on Steam yet, but when it's available on Steam, just like GTA 5, you click it, it's then going to launch the Rockstar launcher to then launch the game. So mine happens to just be through Epic, which um, seems to kind of be the more indicative, like the, the more people are complaining about it through Epic or even through Rockstar than anything else. But that's the problem, it launches Rockstar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna launch the game for the first time here to see what happens. I don't have the latest NVIDIA drivers on here, which is problem number one, because what I'm, tr I'm trying to induce the problems here. I'm trying to recreate them. When I worked in software uh, testing, this is what we did. They're called repro steps, reproduction steps. We're trying to see what causes the problem. First and foremost, both AMD and Nvidia are gonna have their like game ready drivers, which are gonna have the latest profiles for this game for your graphics card. So that's the first thing you should do. I haven't done it yet because I wanna see how it responds, but that's what you should do first. The other thing you should do is make sure Windows is updated, which really kind of sucks because that means you probably have to go through and redo all your privacy settings and all that stuff, but make sure Windows is updated. So those are the two things you should do first. All right, so the very first problem we just encountered is Rockstar trying to install the C++ <laughs> um, runtime and redistributables. Says the path can't be found. Verify I have access to the location. I do have access to my computer. Now one of the things with this title too is it does launch by default into the Vulkan API, which I've always told people Vulkan's amazing because of Doom, but it seems like maybe this Vulkan implementation is not very good because it's also the engine. It's not just the API, but the engine matters too. Um, a lot of people said that running DX12 gave them quite a bit of increase of FPS. 
When I switched the API to DX12 on my system back home, I then started pretty much all of my major issues where I couldn't even get the game launcher to go. So what would happen here is you would see this screen, the little Rockstar logo outlining. And there it goes. It just, it just turned itself off. So the other thing you can do is you can do verify in like files, but we just installed. Maybe that redistributable could be a problem, but I doubt it. Considering I was having this problem on a system that had the redistributables installed, no problem through its own installer. I'm gonna also go ahead and do the NVIDIA graphics um, update because we're on 441.08, 441.12, which is technically the Red Dead Redemption game ready drivers on here. I don't think it's gonna have any improvement whatsoever because of the fact that we're not even getting into the game. The game launcher is crashing prior to even getting into the game. So I don't think this is gonna be a fix, but you know, you've gotta start with the whole, did you try turning it off and on again? Okay, so it finally finished uh, verifying files, but we already knew that the files were fine because they were just installed. We also found where that redistributable installer was and we might try that one more time. I really don't think anything's gonna happen here. I don't think anything's gonna change. Yep, there it goes. See, Rockstar crashes. It's Rockstar's launcher that is crashing. So let me try reinstalling this. It says uninstall, so it means it obviously installed. Let's just repair it. Set up successful, okay. Can I launch just the Rockstar launcher? Rockstar, I don't think ever actually logged in. And I think that's what was happening is Epic was like, hey, launch the game and Rockstar was like, hey, access denied, you didn't log in. Rockstar's up, that's a good sign. Error, the Rockstar game services are unavailable and offline, play could not be verified. All right, so here is my next step that I'm gonna try right here. If you go to your documents folder and you go to Rockstar Games, there is a Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. Right click, delete. Just delete it, boom, gone. So the other thing we're gonna do now, which this was actually recommended to me by um, some of the board part, well, one of the board partners was to update your EFI or your BIOS on your motherboard. Apparently it matters. Okay, so here we are in the new BIOS and I really don't expect any, anything to improve, quite honestly. I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. Rockstar game services are unavailable and offline. All right, fine. Okay, so you know what? It's not fucking working on this system. So now let's just see what's gonna happen with. <laughs> now something to keep in mind is most of the complaints that people have been kind of compiling data has said that it's the Intel system that runs fine, and the AMD systems, especially B350s, that are running like crap. So, let's see if we can even get it to run on AMD. Now, if it is broken on AMD, this is not AMD's fault. This is Rockstar's fault. Rockstar owns this problem. And so, um, I, I, this, this starts as arguments of AMD sucks and Intel's better, this is nothing to do with AMD versus Intel. This is everything to do with Rockstar versus everyone else. <laughs> we got a little bit farther. Unable to launch game. Please verify game data. At least this one gave us something. Like, let's say you're not a power user, right? You, you're just, and Phil and I were talking about this. We think that this is what strengthens and bolsters the argument of like, this is why console is better, because you just don't have to deal with these kinds of problems. Well, problems do exist on console. Uh, but the thing is like, if you're just a regular average Joe who doesn't know a lot about computers, like you don't follow channels like this, you're not a power user, you go, you buy your pre-built, you're like, I wanna buy this game and I play it, it won't work, what the heck. Um, these are the things that obviously are turn off. Unable to launch game. <laughs> uh, at least this one's on an M.2. Yeah. Cause that one was on a hard drive. So this is the problem. This is, this is unacceptable. I don't care how vocal Rockstar could be about, we're fixing it, we're trying to fix, we're trying it, we're trying to, uh, who cares? The problem's here, it's here now. It's a $60 game, $59.99 USD for the base game. If you want the first DLC pack, it's $79.99. If you want the full premium pack, whatever, it's $100. $100 for this piece of shit right now. This was a very anticipated game. And it's sad because this is, this is why developers constantly feel like, and I, I don't know if I should say developers, this is why publishers are constantly at war with the, the, 
the buying market because you deliver shit like this, expect to get reamed, expect to get just completely hammered by the public about this. This is not acceptable for anyone. Now, sure, there are people out there who've tweeted back to me and said, Jay, it's been working fine for me. I've been playing for five hours, six hours, no problems whatsoever. That's cool and all, but that doesn't negate the problems that do exist. You guys are the outlier at this point. The people without problems, they're the abnormal outlier in this. There are, look, three systems now. One, I spent the entire day yesterday finally getting it to run. What I used to get it to run doesn't work with these. A fresh install, even a fresh install of Windows too at that. This is a very clean copy of Windows. A fresh install, none of it works. So this is why you're always gonna hear me preach, don't pre-order. Don't give these piece of shit companies your money before they've earned it. The problem is they'll give you these, these, these rewards that people, well, but I got 50 gold bars or whatever. That's like 20 bucks or whatever it is. Does it matter when you can't use it and you can't play? Hopefully by the time this video goes live and, and you know the next few days past it, we'll be past all of these problems. But I've made these videos when they happened with GTA 5, when they happened with uh, Battlefield 4. Point being, this is not okay. I, I'm frustrated and I've dealt with these sorts of problems for years and I know how to sort of navigate them and work around them. But these are, I can't fix code that's broken and that's what this is. So just a little bit of a rant while we're waiting for verifying game files there. I'm gonna do what Phil suggested, which is when this is done, go back to this system, try reinstalling those redistributables. Um, manually? Manually, because it's only installing the x64, the 64 bit, which is fine, but x86, is also needed for many things. So I just wanna give it one last effort to see if I can get it to work. If not, then I'll close out this video. But I just wanted to make a warning piece to people to say, look, th this, um, this is not okay. It's not okay to release crap like this. And when you do expect to get beaten up for it. And for anyone defending the publishers and all of this, well, I can't even talk to you because clearly we're not on the same wavelength. And unfortunately, you're gonna continue to support this crap and I never will. So anyway, let's see if this works. Well, unable to launch game, please verify your game data. Clearly that didn't make any difference whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead, shut this down. So this system's a wash. That's now 0 for 2 on trying to get this game to run on fresh installs. Trying to get your money back before you even cashed in or even proved that it was worth the gamble. That's just stupid. And pre-orders were only a thing when physical copy was, a necess was necessary to play games before D you know, DRM and logins and launchers and all that crap. It guaranteed that you could go to GameStop or EB Games or wherever to get your copy on the day of launch. Now they just fool you into thinking you're getting something with your pre-order by giving you some free digital sparkles and shit in your game or some stupid camo or whatever the f and then people think that they're actually getting something worth their money where they are contributing to this problem. Oh my God. It finally created the folder. I don't know if you should have clicked enable cloud saves because what if it corrupts your system at home now? <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> uh. oh, hey. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Did you try turning it off or not? How many times did we do that though? We reinstalled the drivers, we reinstalled the BIOS. Remember when it shut down last time was because it blue screened. It only took us an hour and a half to get to this point. Where's my horse? Give me my horse. Whoa. Okay, so let's do this then. Um, no, no, come on. It defaults to Vulcan, that's what I said. And I wanted to see if DX12 was any better. So I did this, I applied changes, I held that to restart. And then what happened back home was this started, all of the problems you saw me starting here with today was the launcher crashing immediately. Like you'd see the icon come up and then it would just shut off. It's still, yeah, see now it, okay, let's try safe mode. <laughs> well, safe mode didn't work? No. What I still can't figure out is how we suddenly got it working without doing anything. I'm gonna go back to documents, go back to Rockstar Games, and then I'm gonna delete the Red Dead folder. So we're installing the latest BIOS here uh, on this Gigabyte motherboard, which a lot of people have said the latest Agesa, A-G-E-S-A or whatever, which is very similar to Intel's um, management engine, is apparently what's fixing a lot of people's problems on AMD anyways. And so 
the board manufacturer um, that reached out to me was basically like, look, the latest EFI for AMD is like a must when it comes to getting it to work. Oh, I think it just did it again. Yeah, it just crashed again. Okay, so as you can see, the latest BIOS made no difference whatsoever on this one. The Rockstar Games launcher exited unexpectedly. Please visit support.rockstar.games for more information. This, this is just sucky. I don't know how else to put this. This is not okay. I've already gone into my little rant. This is, I mean, look, two completely different systems, very similar issues, different errors. One decides to work. One is just like, nope. I had intended to make a video to help you guys get your games running, but unfortunately I have no idea what fixed that one and I couldn't get this one running again. So at this point, we've got to wait for Rockstar to fix their crap. And this just further strengthens why I will always preach don't pre-order. Hopefully this video is obsolete quickly because they will hopefully get this all sorted soon. And those of you saying, well, that's why I waited for Steam, ha ha ha, it's still Rockstar Launcher you're gonna be using and that's what the problem is. Steam is just hopefully with their delay gonna give time for this to be fixed before it ends up on Steam. So with that said, I'm gonna go. Defeated and somewhat I think we're gonna install it in our office with our machine in there to see if it works. But so, if you've got DX12 working on yours, cause you can see I still can't get mine going on the machine that's sort of running. Um, is it performing better than Vulkan? I'm curious, cause that's what I really wanted to test. So I dropped, you almost stabbed I dropped my pokey thing. I gotta go now guys, all right, thanks, bye. Cause if you pre-ordered, well, you, and if you didn't, well, you're probably now, I don't know. What's <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've tried, whoa, what happened to my voice? <laughs> <laughs>